23 minus 33 minus 20. Is this even the answer? No, it's not. Where did I go wrong, y'all? Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to my channel, your fave nurse B. I just wanna let you all know that today's video is a continuation of me going through the math section of the T's and studying for the T's test. So go check out part one if you haven't already and I will have the answers to all the questions at the end of the video. If you all wanna see more videos like this or something else, put it in the comments section. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Four more than a number. What? Oh, here we go. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna stay positive. Four more than a number. X. Four more. So that's just it's just adding. So four plus right X is two less than one third. So minus. Two minus one third of another number y equals so there's an equal in there somewhere oh wow okay so four I said four plus x two minus one third of y that's the one I got which is d which I get what was y'all answer? <laughs> I hope y'all like this video. Y'all wanted a tease video and this is how I'm gonna give it to you. Like it or love it, this is what y'all gonna get. Okay, given the double graph. Okay, I'm pretty good with graphs. Okay, so given the double bar graph shown below, which of the following statements is true? Okay. Mm -mm. Negatively skewed? What does that mean? I mean, I know what negatively skewed mean, but not in the sense of a dang old bar graph. Oh, honey, I just stole too soon. Okay, let's look at this. <sighs> oh yeah, they do like that negative with you. Look how big of a difference it is. Meaning that they give more. Okay, so group A is negatively, negatively skewed while group B is approximately normal. Who learned this? Okay, group A is positively skewed. Okay, oh yeah, group A do have more. Well, no, it don't really have. Wow, group B, I don't think that it's. What? Okay, group B. Oh gosh, wait a minute. I have no idea, I don't know. I see, I guess if they meant like, one is more, is less than the other one, like as far as the amount of vehicles, number of vehicles owned. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna say that group B is approximately normal. Why am I saying that? No idea. I guess because group B kind of goes up and down. It's not, they both do that though. They both go up and down. I'm just gonna say that it's B. What did I say? Approximately normal? Oh, but then you gotta know which one is positive and which one negative. I'm just gonna go with B. Anyways, moving right along. So a gift box has a length of 14 inches and a height of eight inches and a width of six inches. How many square inches of wrapping paper are needed to wrap the box? I don't know, do you just multiply all that? Um, six, is that what y'all do? Square inches? Sounds like a plan to me. 29 equals D. Okay, so donations. Okay, after a hurricane struck, blah, 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 blah. Okay, reviewing the chart above, what percentage of funds was donated to support construction costs? Okay, construction costs is 300,000. What's the total amount of donations? Plus 300 plus 240 plus 130 is the total amount of donations. Okay, so 13, 20, in the end, 300 of it was for, and I could just do the same thing. Like, you could try to guess it or you could just do the same thing. So 300 is more than likely, like a, it's a little less than a third, isn't it? 300 of 13, 20, so I'm gonna do 18% first. 
So the total amount that was funded is, well, let me make sure I got all my math right. So 650 plus 1320. Okay, I'm gonna do that times 0 0.18 equals 237. That's not right. So 237, so it didn't even gotta be more. So, um, sub so 1320 times, oh no, no, no. 1320 times 0 0.23 is 303. That's close enough for me. We're gonna go with 23, which is B. I am your fave nurse, B, B. B, 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 A, okay, we, 12 minutes, oh my gosh, okay, so Marjorie is planning vacation, okay, blah, 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 um, her round trip airfare will cost 520, what they want to know, taking the discount to registration, what is the amount they expect to spend, okay, round trip airfare is 578, 572, her hotel is, okay, how many nights she gonna be there? Oh, here they go, they got stuff, they going back and forth, Okay, it's 80. Okay, let me just read it. So her hotel costs 83 per night and she will be staying at the hotel for five nights. Okay. Okay. And and she expects to spend about 250 on meals. As she books the hotel, she is told that she will receive a total discount of 10% per night. Okay, 10% a night of the price of 89 cents after the first night she stays. So that's only going to be for four nights. Taking the discount into consideration, what is the amount that Marjorie expects? Okay, let's let's calculate the the cost of the actual hotel first. So she's gonna pay that eighty nine for the first night, right? And then she's gonna do eighty nine times three more nights, cause she's gonna stay four nights. Okay. Oh no, times four nights. Okay. Four equals three fifty six times zero point ten percent. So she'll get thirty five dollars thirty five. Hold on, yeah, my oldest is my youngest is woke. I don't want her to wake up her sister. Hold on. Okay, so I said she'll get 35.6 off. How much did I say? Was it 3.56? Was how much it was gonna be? 89 times four. Okay. So her hotel is gonna cost 409.4. 409.4 plus her flight is 572. Plus, she gonna spend 250 on food. 1,231. What? Where did I mess up at? Where did I mess up at? Oh, 150 for sightseeing, okay. 1,381.4, there we go. So the answer is C. I like doing those type of things. I'm like, yes, girl, get your, get your life. Go on your trip, uh, Marjorie. Marjorie, that was my grandmother's name. Marjorie, almost done, four more questions. Arrange the numbers above from least to greatest. Okay, I feel like I can do this. 10 ninths, honey, that's the least, right? That's the least, 10 ninths or something? Seven eighths, nine, oh no, nine, nine, nine halves of something. Nine twos of something. Seven thirds. Ugh. Ooh. Oh. B for your fave nurse. B. 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 Okay. Thirty-three. Almost done. Simplify. Two point seven divided by fifty-five point six. Why did I say two point seven? Do I got a do I got a cross multiply with this? I never freaking remember. Do you cross multiply when you divide or do you do that when you multiply? You do it when you, because when you multiply, you try to find a common denominator, right? Or when that, you only do that when you add and subtract. Woo, okay. We just gonna cross multiply and see what happens. So 12 times six, that's gonna be 12. I mean, two times six is gonna be 12. 35. Sounds like a plan, that's B. Right, 35 over 12. Fave nurse B B B B B B B. This is literally how I be when I'm by myself, yeah. <laughs> Trying to get stuff done. So simplify the expression above. How many of these y'all gonna give? Okay, you do parentheses first, right? That's what I did wrong on the other one. The other question that was like this, I should have did the parentheses first. Anyways, 
Okay, so three. Okay, 33. Do it stay in the parentheses once you complete it? I always forget. I don't think it do. Okay, so then it go down to seven plus 16 minus 33 minus 10 times two. So please excuse exponents, we ain't gonna exponents. My multiplication, okay. So negative 10. I'm not going there, no, cause y'all got cases and y'all not trying to tell people y'all got cases. That's why I said my phone be distracting me. I don't got That's not really a negative 10, it's just minus 10, right? Ooh, that's where they got me messed up. It's not a negative 10, it's just minus 10. So 10 times two, so that's gonna be 20 minus 33. 16 plus 7 okay so then please ex then I could just go straight across right 3 minus 20 is this even an answer <gasps> no it's not where did I go wrong y'all maybe I should do negative 10 times 2 these jobs they be trying it they be trying it Okay, so the table shows the cost of renting a bicycle for one, two, or three hours. Which of the following equations represents the data? Okay, okay, so C is the cost. <laughs> well, <laughs> cost, that's how um, ENTP, like that's how he say, he say cost. He, he, I like the way he say cost. But anyways, C equals cost and H is uh what huh is it okay so how much is it for two hours okay 3.6 so times okay so yeah it's just gonna be c equals 3.6 times your how many hours you're gonna be doing it okay that's right it's a okay y'all we have completed it in the allotted time got 424 left or 420 whatever so what I'm about to do is go through and see what I got correct and I'm gonna do it off camera because I don't want to drain down I don't have enough footage on here I don't want it to be a hell of a pain to edit so I'll be back <laughs> 